even if you increase this blood flow by 10%, you'll nearly double the sensation. And with the proper setup, you can do uh, 25 of these a day within a year. It's viable and strictly therapeutic. You sure there'd be this kind of demand for them? Are you kidding? It's a gold mine. It's the same setup as a hernia clinic. You just in, out, snip, tuck. No big deal, no added cost. This is a simple bypass. You've uh, used these Teflon arteries before. Yeah. You'd be better off with an organic graft, wouldn't you? What do you think, Harry? Oh, Have you done anything with lab you. animals? Yeah. There's nothing here. What do you think? Is it ethical? Hey, the plane's here. You guys ready? Mickey Mouse question was that. He's been laying numbers like that since he got here yesterday. What the hell's wrong with him? He's tired. Come on, we're none of us angels. You haven't seen the man since last year. Take it easy on him. He went to a lot of trouble organizing this thing. You thought about the offer yet? What? The Institute. Come in with us, Harry. That way, at least, I'll get to see your ugly puss once in a while. I never see you anymore. No one sees you anymore. Look, we've been all over this before. Lakeview lets me run neurology my way, and that's the way I like it. So don't start. Who's starting? Who's starting? If you want to work your guts out for peanuts, be my guest. But let me point out a few things to you, sir. A, Lakeview is a well-known snake pit, not fit for human habitation. B, you're a first-class surgeon. C, they need you. D, one of these mornings you're going to wake up needing them. And what do you got to show for it? A lot of worthless glory. I'll take my chances. Like Marty? He cracked up doing what you're doing. Marty had other problems. He was one of the best surgeons I ever saw. He still is. He's a juice artist, Harry. A juice artist. About all he does these days is reduce hernias and sign death certificates at that steel mill he worked well, at. Well, at least he tried. Now, where did you, uh... How far you say it is from here to the rim again? Calder? Yeah. Oh, mile, mile and a quarter. Stay west of this ridge. What about black flies? Good. Uh, DJ? Yeah? You didn't tell us it was black flies, did you? Gable, they are just little black flies. Are there many of them? Medium. days from today, around noon. See you then. Good fishing. How about the same place in the house? Once a year.
It's called the cauldron of the moon. See, the Indians believed the moon bumped into the earth here, made this huge imprint called the cauldron. What were the Indians on, Peyote? Doesn't look as if the, as if the moon bumped into the earth to me. Okay, now hold it. And to the Indians, this whole area is big medicine. Well, here we are. Five little medicines on their way into one big one. Okay, now stand by. Is this a take? Yeah, it's a take. Terrific. Where's the bloody campsite? It's all bush here. We clear the bush. Clear the bush? We clear the bush. And then what? Then we eat. Then we sleep. That's it. What did you expect, Martin? Dancing? Bob's report said sarcoma. The x-ray said sarcoma. What the hell was I supposed to do? What did the kids say? What do you mean, what the kids say? The kid was prepped and under by the time I got there. Every legend has a chorus. You've never seen him before? No. Wouldn't that be funny? This place really is a magic place. Wouldn't you funny? If the moon did bump into the earth here. And I'm not saying it did, but if it did, then this place really is magic. Terry's got no middle. It does, but it doesn't. It's got a beginning and it's got an end, it's got no middle. Yeah, but in this theory, the beginning and the end overlap. And that's the middle. Sometimes 15 operations a day. I'm just trying to make a living. What the hell is wrong with that? What's wrong with making sure? Why are they yelling? We all make mistakes. Give us a break, will you? We work with people who make mistakes. Here! So why don't we put all our mistakes together and see if we can't get a rebate on our premiums? <laughs> 
And what rough beast. It's all come around at last. Slugs is towards Bethlehem to be born. Nothing wrong with his procedure? Tell us about some of the basket cases you keep going, Harry. Oh, come on. No, really, I'm fascinated. When they wake up uh, blind or paralyzed, does Harry sometimes wonder if maybe he saved off just a little more brain than he should have? You, I mean, I've, wait a minute. I've seen some of the wonders you keep going. 90% plumbing, 10% human. What the hell does a man have to turn into before you call it quits? You think I should pull a few plugs? Oh, hell no. If you want to see how long you can keep them going, that's your business. Really? My theory <laughs> doesn't work. No, it doesn't. The world lost a great clown when you gave up neurology. Why is it all pediatricians suffer from the premature <laughs> I think it's the kids. <laughs> You might catch one. With a wrist. Always with a wrist. With the wrist. <laughs> I said use your wrist. Where are the boats, you guys? I'm using my wrist already. They're by the fire, I think. You're using your elbow. I can live with it, DJ. I can live with it. They're not, you know. What you yelling about? His boots. He can't find his boots. They're by the fire. I told them that. They're not here. Check the tent. I'll check the tent. Boots are here. Where are you going? To help them look for the boots. Take the bottle away from them while you're at yeah, it. Shut hey, everybody's boots are gone. Sure, they're gone. I'm telling you, DJ, I'm not kidding you. They're not here. Where'd we leave him? Where'd we leave him? I don't know. They're not here now. Well, they must be here somewhere. No, I've looked everywhere. They're not here. No, I, I looked in the tents. I checked the woods. They're not here. Is anything else gone? I don't think so. It's just the boots. Have you found them yet? No! Why would anyone steal five pairs of boots? Because they're worth 40 bucks a pair. There's a lot of other stuff around here that's worth much more. Maybe whoever stole them is a boot freak. I don't know. 
Don't you think we should discuss this a little? Discuss what? The alternatives. What alternatives? Start a bonfire. This area must be air patrolled. A plane can't land on the river. Look, we've got maybe 12 hours of daylight left. If I leave now, I can make that dam by tonight. A helicopter can get in here. They charge you for silly rescues, Mitzi. And if you start a forest fire, they throw away the key. We're sitting in the middle of a tinderbox, and you want to burn it down for a lousy five pair of boots? Well, this dam's 27 miles upriver, and the lake's only 15. What do you want me to do there, Abel? Grow roots for six days? Look, just let me take care of it. Okay? DJ, I just don't know what the rush is. I just told you. Besides, six days of you clowns hobbling around. Who needs that? How do you know there'll be anybody at that dam? They don't put beaver dams on government maps, Harry. It's a hydro dam, and operations that big don't run themselves. There'll be someone there. Well, I sure hope they have boots. I don't like the idea of you going up the river alone. I wouldn't have to go up the river alone if you clowns had brought extra shoes. We wouldn't be in this jackpot. Get off it, DJ. Look! Two months ago, I sent everyone Xerox sheets of what I would supply and what you were to bring. You were to bring extra shoes and your toothbrushes. I supplied everything else. I had everything organized. All you had to do was follow orders. What Xerox sheet? You know, Abel, there are people who for as little as $50 We'll break both a man's legs. Gee, that's terrible. With us, and I want to know who, and I want to know why. My brother's done a lot of things, but he wouldn't do this. I'll take your word for it. for a couple of hours. The blood is almost fresh. We'll find DJ in the morning, Marty, when it's light. As soon as it's light. Do we have anything we can use as a weapon, Harry? Just the hatchet. God. It'd be almost childish if it weren't so horrible. Mm -hmm.
know how far we've come in the last three hours. A mile. Just over one mile. I've been counting. Counting what? My steps. We should get back to the river. We might have passed him. We won't pass him. We're here. Now move a little closer. Why do you want this now, Abel? For Sheila and the kids. Oh, God. How old are they now, anyway? Uh, one's 11, one's 12, and uh, I don't know how old the other one is. You know its name? Oh, sure. Um, I try and look like you're enjoying yourself. See no evil? Hear no evil? Speak no evil. Oh, I like it. Today, evil, today. <laughs> He's dead, Martin. Marty is dead. Marty? Who was up there? What? Who was it, Marty? Was was someone up there? I heard him yell, DJ, Harry. Marty? Hey, was somebody up there? Yes, it wasn't DJ. Why'd you yell his name? It wasn't DJ, Harry. I swear it wasn't DJ. You don't seem too sure about that. So what do you want me to say? I'm sure. April's dead, Harry. We're just... Just... Just trying to find out what happened. <laughs> Was it a man? Huh? 
I don't know. It was just... Just a movement. This piece was no accident, huh? There were no accidents. You should have waited. What about my brother? You'd have waited. Ava would still be alive. Waited for what? Waited for help. We're in the middle of nowhere, Mitzi. No one's going to help us. Maybe we should go back. To what? Well, what Better about... still go back to the, to the lake. Well, what about D.J.? He can take care of himself. We never make it back to the lake. <laughs> don't have a compass. In that bush, we'd be walking in circles in half an hour. Let's stay here. What the hell do we do? We keep going till we reach the dam. Get the hell out of here as fast as we can. You're such a boob. Such a gentle boob. Well, couldn't we say something? Say what? He's dead. Wait a minute, hold it. How far do you think we've come? Maybe halfway there. Halfway. Terrific. Come on. He's not going to make it any further. Better find a place to make camp before it gets dark. Yeah. Take it easy on the sauce, Marty. Talk to him, Harry. Give me the hatchet. I'll check up ahead. Yeah. Be careful. This must be like coming off a double ship stewards. What do you do there, anyway? Works? You keep getting into that end of the business? I'm interested. You guys all right? in a small office with a large scales and 80 cartons of industrial safety posters. Use DJs, not words. Not getting my head in shape. With that? Harry, it wouldn't matter one speck of bug dung if I never picked up a scalpel again. I'm 38 years old. I'm an independent alcoholic whose last serious boyfriend is now a borderline psychotic teaching karmic fascism in the mountains. Didn't you once say that self-sacrifice was all right as long as you could pay the rent? Was I drinking at the time? You were never a drinker, were you? Yeah. Four years non-stop in Korea. I can even remember when I gave it up and why. Why? Because of a bridge over the Yim Jim River. I was drunk and bored at the time. God, was I bored. And I flew under it with an English captain. There's only six inches of clearance between the wingtips and the piers. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? We'll find him, Martin. Don't worry. Like April? Hey, you guys! Look at I found! It's DJ's rope! I found it! What? I almost missed it! There was nothing else here, just the rope! What? Just the rope! That's all, huh? DJ! <laughs> Here, Harry. Maybe he wanted to use it to pull himself back. 
Other than this little delicacy. Harry doesn't want a fire, so we'll see what we can eat. That's no good. Oh, that's no good. No good. Rice? No good. Ah. Powdered milk? Rip. Rip. And in here? What have we got in Marty's pack? Oh, mine's no good to you. Scotch. Toilet paper. I see you came prepared. Anyone for dates and powdered milk? Well, I guess there are worse things in life than powdered milk, I suppose. Over here, DJ. It's a flashlight. That's a flashlight out of the house. Anything? Uh, where are you, DJ? Thank you. With my clack in the river. 
Get a sleeping bag around him. Oh. <laughs> it should be in it. Yeah. What's happening to the artery? Really? Make sure the artery's all right. Yeah, I think you're all right. Give me a drink. You're still in shock. I need a drink! Hey! He changed this! The river was full of animal traps. DJ didn't do it. Like a minefield out there. Who the? Why? What is this happening to us? God! God! Very careful hatred has gone into this thing. And all I'm saying is that if any one of us, if any one of us knows something, that he should tell the others. Now is the time. Goody, 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 goody. Something like jolly self incrimination. We're doctors, Marty. It's not inconceivable that one of our mistakes is a reason for all of this. Shall we start with our own mistakes? All the mistakes we helped with, all the mistakes we participated. How about just our worst mistake, our very worst, best mistake? After all, we don't want the proceedings to turn into a witch hunt. It's a simple question. All you have to say is no. I'll take your word for it. You see, Chet, stop! It's possible we're all paying for something one of us is responsible for. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Yeah, but it's one hell of an assumption. And tell me, Harry, what in God's name this clown is after? You think it's theft? You're getting drunk, Mitchie. Spare me the temperance lecture, Harry. Martin's the one who's supposed to be getting drunk. Just because your old man was a juicer, Harry, doesn't make the rest of us candidates for Skid Row. I know what I'm doing. Hey. After you found out which one of us it was, were you going to throw the rascal to the wolves for the sake of the team? You bet, old buddy. How are we going to move him, Harry? Build a stretcher. Stretcher. Why don't we float them? Now. Do it now. Better drink the rest of that. Uh, drunk enough. You sure? Ah. What difference is it going to make? Okay, hold it. Okay, easy. <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Which way do you want your instep? They seem front. Be gentle. It was your idea. So mad. So so thin. Just a speed freak. Anyway, he told me once how to train a chimpanzee. So that what you do is you chain a chimpanzee at the end of a large tent or, or a large hall, it doesn't matter. And at the other end, you chain a dog or a cat or an armadillo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So then you let the people in. All the people who want to advance the education right. of the chimpanzee. But they ignore the chimp, and they concentrate on the dog. Now, they circle around the dog and shout salute. Uh, the dog just stands there, looking like a dog, or whatever, so they bring it. Nick, 
one. Thanks. We're setting ducks down here. Your brother has bright ideas. Do you really believe there's a madman out there who wants revenge? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. There's a certain kind of um, what? unholy precision to this whole thing. Nothing's been left to chance. Our boots were stolen. What are you talking to about? To draw us out. Draw out DJ. My leg was broken to slow us down. How do you know that? Rapids, rope, traps. It all seemed to come together at the same time. That rope was put there to draw us across. The dag's head. The Shut snake, up. The patient. Precision. No ceremony. Hey. 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 We're being drawn deeper and deeper. Into a kind of demonic ritual. Hey. We're being used. And this thing, which is summoned up this force, we can get through. And if it performs certain acts well, in a certain order, certain what? other things are bound to happen. Not going up there, I mean, if you really had them. What is it? Some time in the future. Oh, the oh, And the appease of half the hour. What's going on here? Well, I was just invoking a wee bit of the old demon for old bitch here. Shut up! Hey, Missy! Carry your own carcass out of here! How quickly we forget our manners, eh, Missy? Get up, the both of you! Don't tell me to shut up! How are you over I owe you nothing! I'm warning you! <laughs> He's still responding to external stimulus. Partial dilation of the left pupil, but he's responding. I don't understand this fever.
looks like endotoxic shock. I think it's a subdural hematoma. Let's hope it's that. Marty. Martin. Uh -huh. Don't leave me. I'm sorry I said what I said about your old man. Who cares? I'm trying to apologize, Harry. Can't you accept that? I'll take it into consideration. Don't be too proud, Harry. We still need each other. Poor old Andy. He wasn't that different from my old man. Never met my old man, did you, Harry? Just a couple of silly old dreamers who couldn't handle the sauce. Hey, remember the time? <laughs> remember the time I old don't guy? remember. You never saw him again much after that, did you? I never saw him again. Hey, Missy! Missy, come here! Huh? What is it? Is it the dad? Looks like a fire. Long time ago. Track, Marty? He doesn't answer. I think he's taking a nap, Harry. Lay off. We gotta sign off now, Marty. Alright. Now hold. Hold on. Oh, God, this is God. Oh, God. Why don't you why don't you watch where you're going? How about letting me? Take the front for a while. What difference does it make? It makes a hell of a difference. You try back there for a while. All right. All right, you take the front. If you think it's, it's so much easier, take it. Now you're being petty. If you want to take the front, take the front. It doesn't matter to me. Well, it matters to me. It's a hell of a lot easier when you can see where you're going. Then take the damn thing! I will!
This is right after the landing at Incheon. <laughs> Each one of these Korean regulars were issued two weeks' rations of rice. But nothing to cook it with, see? Nothing to cook it in. Well, one afternoon, I saw these uh, uh, three of them in a rice paddy with a barrel of our gas. Now, they'd reshaped the sides of the paddy into a small pond. Most of these rice paddies were composed of human and animal waste. So they soaked the sides of the paddy with gasoline and lit it. And then they poured the, the rice into the paddy water. And when it boils, they ate. They ate it. You told me this before, Harry. What's the point? Well, the point is either self-evident or there isn't any. He's not going to make it, you know. He'll make it. If he lasts the night, are we still going to carry him? What? Don't tell me it hasn't crossed your mind, Harry. That thing out there will come for us. And when it does, we won't be able to do a damn thing to stop it. We'll be too weak. That thing out there is a man, Mitzi. A man. He's not after him. He's after Russ. He's using him to grind us down. As long as we're carrying him, he has us just where he wants us. We've got to start thinking like him. He expects us to carry him. He's counting on it. I don't think so. If anything, he wants to see if we'll leave him. He wants to degrade us first. Hasn't he already? He hasn't even started. He wants our faces in it. He wants us crawling. When we're dead, who's going to know whether we crawled or not? We will. We'll be the only ones. Look, Harry, he'll come after us. He can get him any time he wants. Our only chance is to make a break for it. The sooner we get to the dam, the sooner they'll come back for him. It makes sense. We're the ones you have to worry about now. You can't just leave him here. Oh, what bloody difference does it make? Hey, hey, leave him alone. Even if he survives, what are you going to have? Another vegetable? Why are you doing this, Harry? You're not that soft-hearted. You left your old man. Why not him? It's all lies. You want to risk our lives for that? I don't hold it against you, Harry. Yeah, of course you don't. We've survived a lot together, Harry. We can survive this if we use our heads. If we leave him. Who's going to know, Harry? I am. You kill me. I damn if I let him degrade me. I'd be damned if I let him do that. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Hey. Is it ready?
done that? He cut a cut our throats last night. I was tired. You were drunk. Don't talk to me like that, Harry. I'll tell you that we're gonna lose out of here. What but you did this? What? It's an army x-ray. We're paying for something that somebody else did. It was made in 1945. Now we have some idea what we're dealing with. Let's go. I'm not carrying him. I'm not carrying him. I'm not carrying him. You'll get us killed. That maniac doesn't want him, he wants us. You'll get us killed, leave him. You'll get us killed. I want to live, Harry. I want to live. You'll get you killed, Harry. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is it? Oh, it's traction. Just put him in traction. It's a medical discharge. Master Crowley. Come on. He's dead. Let's get the hell out of here. Quacks did to him, he's going to butcher us. Come on, help me get him down. Let's just get the hell out of here, Harry. Come on. Oh. He's alive? Is he alive? What are you doing, Harry? 
Come on, let's get out of here. Can't leave him like this. What are you going to do, Harry? Tell him. You're crazy. You hear me? You're crazy. Good, Marty. I can't carry any further. I'll come back for you. I swear. Please. Please, understand.
You're not leaving. No more kills. No more. No more. You're not leaving. No more. Come on. You. You're blind. One of them doctors. Yeah. I tried to stop them. I I tried. The others. Where are the others? They're dead. What's your name? Jesse.
Mitzi! Mitzi! Harris! Oh, God. Is that you? Is that you? Where are you? Help me, Harry. I'm hanging from a tree or something. I've tied up, Harry. That you? I got a gun. Gun? You've got a gun? Hey, where is he? Below me. Somewhere behind me. Help me. I swear. Now, come on. Help me. My artery is severed. Mitzi, the poplar teal. Don't speak. Come on, get him. You've got a gun. Come on, get him. Kill him now. Hurry. I'll tie it off for you before you bleed to death. Mitzi. Don't show panic now. Let me help you. Does he speak? Please. Does he understand language? I don't know. Stay calm. Don't panic him. Harry, don't faint. Don't faint. He's behind me, starting a fire. Harry! He's going to burn me. Do not shoot the gun. Use the gun! I can't see him! Help me! Harry! He's talking! He's trying to say something! What? Repeat it! I can't make it out! Answer! Answer, I think! Jesse! His brother! Thank <laughs> you. 